Hey guys, I'm sort of welcome to the channel. I am very bad when it comes to organizing photos. Every time I need to find a picture, I have to search across multiple hard disk, multiple folders, cloud storages, and it's a never-ending process. But the good news is I think I finally found a solution with no storage limit and there's a free version of it too. That is Mylio. The day I started using this application, I'm like, why haven't I found this earlier? Have to show you what Milo is all about. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Basically, Milo is a photo cataloging application, but it's a lot more than that. You can find any photo across multiple devices within seconds with the help of AI. Let's see how Milo works. As soon as I start importing images, Milo starts doing all the magic in the background. One of them is detecting faces. I can then click here on tools and click on batch face tagging. Milo detects similar faces and you can tag them all at once. Then let's say I want to filter the photos according to a person, it takes hardly a second. There are a lot of different filter options which I'll get back to later. Milo works on Mac OS, Windows, Android, iOS and iPad OS. It solves a very big issue of transferring photos between say a Windows device and an iPhone or say a an Android device and a Mac because irrespective of the operating system, it works exactly in the same way. I've already synced my iPhone with the application. The UI across all the devices is pretty much the same. As soon as you add a new device, it starts syncing with all the devices connected and you can see all the devices that are present in the network. Don't confuse this with cloud storage. Your photos are not being stored anywhere else. It's completely private. Basically, what it's doing is building a network of your devices. Once the devices are synced, you can access the whole library even without an internet connection. So let's say I'm traveling and I don't have internet on my phone, but I want to edit photos from some external hard drive that I've synced with Milo. I can easily do it. Later, when I connect to the internet, those edits will be synced across all the devices. You can see which devices are online. And if you make edits in any of the online devices, it syncs almost in real time. Now, the thing is, if you're able to access all the photos from your phone, it has to be stored somewhere in your phone. But the big problem with that is storage. Storing millions of photos in a smartphone is not feasible. That is why Milo compresses all these images and forms an optimized image. But the cherry on the cake is it has all the raw capabilities. So when you make any changes, it's just like editing the actual raw file. You can store millions of photos in your smartphone without worrying about storage and you're not compromising on the quality even. If I go to my devices, iPhone, device sync policies, you can see the preset it's using is Space Saver by default. This will only save the compressed photos. You can obviously change sync policies, but for phones, I'll recommend to use this one. Later, if you want to download the original file, you can do so too. But the device where the photo is stored has to be online because the file is not stored anywhere else. Now, let's dive into the AI magic that's happening inside this software. Let's say I want to see photos of me from Dubai where I am smiling. See, it was that quick. Here I'm using smart tags. Milio automatically detects what kind of photos these are and adds these smart tags with the help of AI. You can manually remove them as well. If you feel the AI is not accurate enough, you can reduce the sensitivity and what it will do is make it more accurate and give you fewer results. You can filter photos using camera information, lens information, and it almost takes no time to filter the photos. You have the option to filter by camera settings, dates, and even locations. I want to figure out where this image was captured. I'll go to the map and zoom in. This gives you the exact location. You can click on the image and get the exact GPS coordinates as well. So next time I'm in Iceland, I can use these coordinates and find the exact same location. As I said in the beginning, Milio has a free version as well. You can install Milio on multiple devices, store unlimited photos, you get all the organization and AI features. The only difference is the devices will be independent of each other. Meaning you can still search through photos and videos just as fast, but it will be limited to that particular device. It's completely free of cost and there is no storage limit. 
If you want Milio to sync all your devices and form one particular network, then you would need to buy the paid version. The link is in the description and if you click on the link, you get a 25% discount as well. I used to usually upload photos on Google Drive and share the link with my family and friends. But the problem with that is limited storage. If you want more storage, you need to pay more. I don't have to do that with Milio's Photos Plus. I can use shared albums. Basically, create an album, add images and share the link. I will turn Safe Share on, which makes sure I'm not sharing any metadata along with the images. Anyone can open this link with just a browser and doesn't matter how many people are accessing this web page at the same time, it won't crash. I have multiple devices on my Milio network, but all these devices contain optimized images for storage purpose. But what if I want to store the original files? Well, I have the option to do that. I can choose a specific folder, go to devices, and let's say I want to store the originals of my Iceland folder in my iPhone. And you can see how much space it would require exactly. If I click here, all the original images get stored in my iPhone. Under tools, you have the option to delete duplicate photos. This is exactly made for someone like me. I have so many duplicates across many folders, many devices, and it's so difficult to get rid of them. What if accidentally I delete all the copies? You can select them one by one or click on auto tick and choose to delete them or move somewhere else. I can't tell you how easy this makes the whole organization process and it saves a ton of space. Another tool is declutter. It allows you to remove images that are not duplicates, but are similar to each other. For example, in this photo shoot, I was using continuous mode since a model was walking and I did not want to miss a moment. Later, I prefer coming back to the studio and select the images I prefer amongst them. I can also adjust the time between the shots. If you increase it, you will see more pictures. I can just go through them one by one, select the photos I don't like. And once I'm done, again, I can choose to either delete them or move them to a separate location. I've been using Milio for almost a couple of months and it has made my life as a photographer so much easier. And I'm not saying this just because they are sponsoring this video. I don't have to worry about backups. I don't have to worry about unnecessary duplicates. I don't have to worry about organization. Milio is doing it all for me. If you are a photographer, I would highly recommend you to check out Milio. Link is in the description. Again, if you're buying the paid version using the link, you get a 25% discount as well. Thank you Milio for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.